The key areas of progress for Snowy 2.0 this month are the tunnel boring machines, the construction power substation, the cable tunnel portal and the exploratory camp. Let's go see what's happening. The assembly of the tunnel boring machine has been going really well. The tail shield welding took half the expected amount of time and the cutter head welding has been going for 24 hours a day, seven days a week by a strong team of 15 people and it's now complete. So the Baker and Proben welding crew could operate in all weather conditions, the Future Generation team built an enclosed scaffolding area for the works to be undertaken. Works are progressing really well at the Emergency Cable Ventilation Tunnel Portal, or the Cable Tunnel. We're moving on average 4,000 cubic metres of material each day. That's around 160 dump truck loads. And we're reusing this material to build the construction pad facilities required for Snowy 2.0. The components of the tunnel boring machine that will bore the cable tunnel have been delivered safely and ahead of time to fast track construction. We've had really great support from New South Wales Police and Transport for New South Wales to make this happen. We now have 100 workers living in Lobs Hole. The medical facility is operational and will be taking care of workers' health. The final support infrastructure facilities, such as the gyms, are being fitted out with equipment. The construction power substation is now finished, having taken 10 months to build. The small and complex site has been really well managed by the contractor. The site has now been handed over to Transgrid to complete the commissioning. 